Hi, I'm Christine Barry from Barry Campbell. Martha Campbell and I want to welcome you to a tour of the Ida Kohlmeyer exhibition. We've curated a show of her works from the late 1960s, 1968, 1969, and 1970 called Cloistered. Many of these paintings have not been on view before. They have been with the estate of the artist. We are pleased to represent the estate of the artist here in New York City, along with Arthur Roger Gallery in New Orleans. Um, today I'm going to show you some sculpture and some paintings by Kohlmeier, who originally was from New Orleans. Her parents were Polish immigrants that moved to New Orleans. She was born and raised there, studied there, and lived her life there. She's very well known in New Orleans. Um, she studied at Tulane University. She studied English to start with, and then came back and finished her degree in fine arts um, at Tulane later on. Um, she was encouraged by Clifford Still, who was visiting New Orleans, to study with the great Hans Hoffman in Provincetown. So in about 1956, she went to Provincetown and felt she was freed by her time with Hoffman and what he had taught in her classes. She had been working in a figurative style in the 1940s and trying to find her own voice. Um, after her trip to Provincetown, she came to New York City, where she met Arshil Gorky and Mark Rothko. Rothko would be a major influence on her work, and in the later 1950s, her work would have a similarity to Rothko, with a little bit lighter and more joyous colors. Um, Rothko later comes to Tulane and teaches, where Ida Kohlmeier is also a professor. He lives and stays on her property and has a studio there, and they were, they were friends for a long time. Um, Kohlmeier's work from this period is a little different than some of the other works you may have seen. You may have seen works from the 70s and 80s with these beautiful hieroglyphic marks, mark making symbols. This still has the same feeling of these symbols, but this is where she started. These are the earliest sculptures. She went on her honeymoon to Mexico. She traveled to South America and Central America and became interested in the marks that she saw there on ceramics painting and brought those, she liked the direct, the directness of the mark that was made in those countries. And so here we see these geometric forms, but there's certainly a future reference to what she's going to do with these symbols and mark making. Um, this period also, you can certainly relate to the works of George O'Keefe, this organic feel. Uh, Hilma F. Clint with the geometric aspects to the work, but if you get up close to these, you will see a painterliness to these. They're all mixed media, so there's oil stick, there is acrylic paint, there is oil paint, there is pencil, graphite, so you have to look at all sides of these. I love that she was working not only in painting two-dimensionally, but three-dimensionally as well. Um, down the road, she ends up making public sculptures that many, are, many of you are familiar with in her town. Um, Kohlmeier continued to have museum exhibitions around this country. So she started to show her work in New York and Washington, D.C. in the late 1950s. She had her first solo exhibition at the New Orleans Museum in 1957. Ida Kohlmeier is included in many museum, public and private collections around the country, including the Whitney Museum and the Metropolitan Museum. She's had traveling exhibitions at the High Museum in Atlanta, the Mint Museum, and many other institutions around the country.